Hey guys, it's the end of day two here at the AIAA SciTech Forum. It feels like it's been a week already, but we had a rocket launch tonight and I was able to witness, well, some of that launch. It was kind of hard to see, it was pretty far away, but I did want to hop on here and say congrats to the Rocket Lab team for a successful debut launch from the Wallops facility. And it turns out that Virginia is for launch lovers. So excuse the fact that I'm here in my <laughs> uh, hotel bathroom, but I did want to put this online. Thank you to everyone who has supported the wet dress rehearsal video for Starship. Um, that was also, there's just so much going on. There's, we have tons of speakers here at the conference that I'm interviewing, and then there's just stuff going on outside of the conference. So I'm trying to keep up with it all. Um, in fact, tomorrow I have about 10 people that I'll be interviewing in our studio here. So that's really exciting, but we did see the launch from pretty far away. So here's what we got. Hey guys, I am here as you can see on a rooftop at the National Harbor in Maryland and we are hoping that we're going to get a view of Rocket Lab's first launch from U.S. soil. It has been delayed due to bad weather, but we're hoping tonight, Tuesday, the skies look clear. So what are you shooting on tonight? Well, we got a Canon SL2 with an 18 to 135 lens doing a 30 second time exposure. Gonna try and get a nice little street shot and we'll stitch two or three shots together to make one little clip. And you can look in the back there and see what we got. Ooh. Oops. Oh, come back. Here, wait, <laughs> you're good, you're good. There, there we, we go. go. Sweet. That looks really nice. I love the, is it bokeh effect of the, the background, mm -hmm. is it called bokeh? What, um, you've seen, I don't know, a lot of <laughs> rocket lot launches. Of launches yes. What sticks out to you about Rocket Lab? Well, this will be the first one um, from US. I've seen. Yeah, right. I mean, I've seen videos, I've never been to one. They've launched 32 in New Zealand, so they've been launching, it's just new for us. Right. It'll... You're ready to go? Have you already set it, or what do you have to do next? I'm good. I did that test exposure, everything set, 30th of a second, or 30 seconds. When, do, when does it start going? It goes when I push it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> but I have a two second timer on it, so I push it so I'm not shaking it, because that's why oh. it has to stay on a tripod to keep it perfectly safe. So the launch window starts at 6 p.m. 6 o'clock and runs till 8. Do you push it exactly at 6? What do you well, do? I'm hoping that if I can see on my phone yes. a countdown, or at least hear a countdown. Let's pull it up. Well, this is not quite the VIB now, is it? It's only about eh, 450 feet short. But, <laughs> but those do, stairs made do, it feel like the VIB. It'll do in a pinch. <laughs> so hopefully we can see it. And if we do, I will be sure to capture that. Um, I am here at the AIAA SciTech Forum. It's only day two. It already feels like it's been a week in a good way, in a good way. I've made some great connections and conducted some awesome interviews with industry leaders. And I'm learning more about the space industry myself just being here. So it really is a great time to be a space reporter. And um, I can't wait to share all of the content with you, but I'm really in kind of the content gathering stage. So uh, I was able to put together a Starship video last night after uh, working the conference all day, but that's because we had the wet dress rehearsal and I don't want to sleep on that news. So I, it seems like you guys enjoyed that video. So thank you to all and all of the new subscribers to the channel. That is very exciting for me because if you don't already know, this is my full-time job. <laughs> Um, and there's a lot to cover. So there's definitely a need for uh, an independent space journalist in the field. Uh, but let's get back to this launch. We are hearing good calls from the teams in Virginia and Rocket Lab Mission. Is it there? Is it there? Well, <laughs> turns out we can't see it that well. Aww. <laughs> <laughs>
And so I also wanted to explain this because I've taken some sort of launch reaction videos in the past where I have it in selfie mode and this is a big reason why. I mean, you can see or you can't see because I'm so far away. Even when I was not that far away on the Max Brewer Bridge in Florida, I'm just not going to do a rocket launch justice on my cell phone. So um, I think it's kind of neat to see people's reactions. And that's why we have professional streams that capture the rocket up close and personal. But um, I did want to explain that because some people in the past have kind of wondered why I had it in selfie mode and that is why. We were slightly facing the wrong way. We were facing this way and it was over here as a little red bead. It was very hard to see, but we saw it. There it is, isn't it? Is that it, straight up? Yeah, I think so. Hey, it was so far successful, so that's great. So you are not going to see amazing shots from our vantage point, I don't think, right? Will we? No. Too many light pollution. That's the rocket, or if that's light pollution. I know. <laughs> oh man. Oh wait, that kind of. That might be it. Excellent news yeah. there from our launch operators. Electron has had yeah, a that might be it. I was thinking that one was it. I don't know. No, nah, that's. What about up. the next photo? Got there was only one. <laughs> <got another> one. <laughs> oh no! It was a one-trick pony. Oh no! I think that might be it. <laughs> we didn't get the shot. And no. as we saw from Electron's onboard camera, and heard from well, I don't know. I'll I don't. Have, think I'll have so. to look at it in Photoshop. Okay, go back to the full scale. Exposing the Hawkeye 360 satellites to space on their way to low Earth orbit. Our first launch from U.S. soil is going great so far. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's really hard to tell. Well, uh, well, we investigate no, that mystery. This ain't no Antares or uh, this isn't no Artemis, that's for sure. Th this is not Artemis. Uh, yes, <laughs> you you make a good point because this is technically my fourth rocket launch now, uh, but it was out. hard to see. Yeah, it was fogged out of Falcon Heavy. Man, that was really hard to see. We will attempt to recover them using our recovery vessel, Doug. Dog. It's like we're in Vandenberg or something with how fog. As a reminder, we're waiting for the sonic to slow vehicles down significantly. It's like fireworks. Yeah, that's I saw Starling Falcon 9 when Artemis was scrubbed in September. I am no longer the launch virgin. And then I saw Artemis. Oh, my God. oh yeah! Oh, yes. All right! Oh, wow. Yes! So this would make number four. Rocket Lab, two you have... Two different launch pads. Yes! That's kind of cool. Would have been cool to see in person, but um, Wallops is what, three hours from here? No, it's not that far from here. It's probably... Uh, really? Yeah, because it's, it's four hours from Pennsylvania, so it's maybe two and a half. Okay. Here, well, it's still far. <laughs> when I am <laughs> strapped to the conference interview studio, it's just not going to happen. So this was Rocket Lab's debut liftoff from U.S. soil. They've experienced several delays, so you can imagine just how excited and thrilled they were that this was a successful launch. And this is paving the way for possible monthly flights from the East Coast. The Rocket Lab Electron Booster launched from NASA's Wallops Flight Facility with three commercial radio frequency satellites. Their customer is Hawkeye 360. Liftoff occurred at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. That was when the launch window opened and about 45 minutes after sunset. Those three sats were deployed at an altitude of about 340 miles. This happened just under an hour after after liftoff. However, because a communications receiving ground station wasn't working right, 
the news of the success was a bit delayed by about half an hour. So you can imagine how nerve wracking that was for everyone that was a part of this mission. This launch, the Virginia is for launch lovers launch has been a many years long effort for Rocket Lab. Up until now, they had only launched from New Zealand. CEO Peter Beck said in a statement before the launch, quote, we're incredibly excited about the capability we're bringing to Virginia by delivering responsive launch for our customers from US soil. And we're also proud of the opportunities it creates for the local community by creating highly skilled jobs and bringing high tech manufacturing to the Eastern Shore. So yeah, like a lot of things in the business of launching rockets, they had experienced several delays. They wanted to begin launches from Wallops in 2020, but with Tuesday's success, Rocket Lab now plans to launch about one electron mission a month from their Wallops pad. Rocket Lab is also building a much larger reusable rocket called Neutron that should also fly from their Virginia pad. And we're thinking the first flight of Neutron will be no earlier than 2024. So thank you to everyone who has become a new subscriber on Ellian Space. I have a lot of great content in the works, a lot of interviews that I've conducted here that um, will probably be released over the next several weeks. We also have interviews that are going up on AIAA's website and all of their social media platforms. So you might recognize me as the host um, and so that's been really cool, but I'm just so glad that you guys are along for the journey. I know that we're all getting excited for uh, Starship and there's just so much going on right now in the space industry. So I'm, I'm very happy that I decided to take the leap of faith and become a full-time space reporter for you. I do this for you. Um, that's why I'm, I'm still working, even though it's nighttime right now, because there's just so much going on and I want to be sure to be consistent with my coverage. So. Okay, I'll stop rambling. Thank you to everyone. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video.